This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing most of the Togo viruses, including Eastern, Western, and Venezuela equine encephalitis viruses and chikungunya virus. You can see all of these right here. This image is all about a girl named Allison, who is in a place called Wonderland. As you can see, she's wearing a toga, which is to help you remember that the viruses we'll be discussing belong to the family Togaviridae. Now you can see that we've added a sign to the image because Allison has come to a fork, and now she must decide which way to go. As you can probably tell by the sign, she can go west, east, or south. The east and west symbols on this sign should help you remember eastern equine and western equine encephalitis viruses. The southern symbol should help you think of the South American country Venezuela, or Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus. Next, notice that we've added a cat in the tree who appears to be eating a chicken. We caught him right in the act, and we can even see some gross chicken guts hanging out of the poor dead bird. In any case, chicken guts sounds like chikungunya, which should help you remember that this image is also about chikungunya virus. Before we go any further, let's talk about the organization of the image. So everything occurring in the tree up here will be about chikungunya virus, whereas most of the other information in the image will pertain to all of the viruses. So the warm colored background should help you remember that all four of the viruses we just introduced are RNA viruses. And just like in our other videos, the rainbow is here to help you remember that all of these viruses are also positive sense. After all, this is Wonderland, so the happy and positive vibes from the rainbow seem pretty fitting, right? You can also see that Allison is holding a little icosahedral shaped souvenir she picked up in this magical land. The shape of this souvenir should help you remember that these viruses have an icosahedral shaped capsid. 